Synthesizing lifelike interactions between humans and their surroundings is one of the fundamental challenges of procedural character animation. Animating a character to realistically interact with objects is a much more challenging problem than animating a character in isolation. The objects in the environment can restrict movements while also providing different affordances. In order to synthesize lifelike scene interactions, characters need to adapt their movements according to object-specific functionality. Existing techniques for synthesizing character scene interactions tend to be limited in terms of motion quality, generalization, or scalability. When applied to new scenarios, kinematic models struggle to generate realistic behaviors that respect scene constraints. Physics-based RL methods are able to better synthesize plausible motions in new scenarios by leveraging physics simulators and RL control policies. Recently, Adversarial motion priors, or AMP, have been proposed as a means of imitating behaviors from large, unstructured motion datasets without requiring any annotation of the motion data or an explicit motion planner. In this work, we present a framework for training physically simulated characters to perform scene interaction tasks. Our method builds on AMP and extends it to character scene interaction tasks. Our framework consists of two components, a policy and a discriminator. The discriminator's role is to differentiate between the behaviors produced by the simulated character and the behaviors depicted in a motion data set. The policy is trained to satisfy a task reward while also trying to fool the discriminator by producing motions that resemble those shown in the data set. Crucially, the policy need not explicitly track any particular motion clip but is instead trained to produce motions that are within the distribution of the data set. This allows the policy to deviate from reference motion as needed to adapt to new scenarios. The agent's reward at each step has two parts, a task reward and a style reward. The task reward encourages the character to satisfy high-level objectives, such as sitting on a chair or moving a box to the desired location. The style reward encourages the character to imitate behaviors from a motion dataset as it performs the desired task. Our policy not only considers the character's state, but the object state and bounding box as well. Unlike the AMP discriminator, which only considers the character's motion, our discriminator jointly examines the character and object in the scene. This allows our discriminator to evaluate the realism of the character's movements within the context of the scene. In order to train the character to interact with objects in a lifelike manner, we need demonstration data of human scene interactions. We use a high-quality motion capture dataset, which records human motion, object motion, as well as CAD models. We would like our policy to be able to execute the desired task from a wide range of positions and orientations. To achieve this, we randomize the object position and orientation with respect to the character at the beginning of each episode. Our human demonstration dataset shows interaction with eight objects only. To enable the agent to go beyond the limited human demonstration and interact with a wide array of objects, we populate each training environment with a different object during the training phase. We replace the original objects from the human demonstration dataset with objects from ShapeNet from the same category. We apply our method to three challenging scene interaction tasks sit, lie down, and carry. The character is able to smoothly transition from idling to walking and from walking to the various task-specific behavior. Our models successfully interact with a wide range of objects that were not seen during training. Our method generalizes beyond what is shown in the human demonstrations. The character can carry very small boxes, although no such objects were depicted in the human demonstration data set. Moreover, our character can successfully execute the task from initial configurations not shown in the original motion data. In addition, our policy learns to seamlessly adapt to the different object sizes, and it succeeds in placing its hip on the proper support surface. Our character can deal with objects of different physical properties. We train a policy to carry boxes of the same size but different weights. The character discovers how to deal with the different weights from a human demonstration of a single box. 
humans have the ability to interact with the same object in a myriad of different styles. Our character also demonstrates similar diversity in its interactions with a given object. Our policy is robust to external perturbations. The character learns to get back on its track and resume the task execution upon tripping or being hit by a projectile. Even when the object moves during the episode, our character can quickly adapt its motion according to the new placement. In summary, we presented a method to animate physically simulated characters to perform scene interaction tasks in a natural and lifelike manner. We demonstrate the effectiveness of our approach through three challenging scene interaction tasks which require careful coordination of a character's movements in relation to objects in the environment. Our method is able to generalize beyond the objects and configurations shown in the dataset, enabling the character to synthesize naturalistic interactions with a large collection of diverse objects in different configurations. Thanks for watching.